Decimals. Convert decimals to fractions. A fraction describes part of a whole. Three quarters. If we look at a circle, the yellow part is three quarters. The same part can also be described as a decimal. 0 0.75. It's 75 parts out of 100. If the whole circle was 100, then the yellow section 0, 25, 50, 75. 75 parts out of 100. A decimal is a fraction with a denominator of base 10. 0 0.5 is 5 tenths. As a fraction, that is 5 over 10. 0 0.06 is 6 hundredths. As a fraction, that's 6 divided by 100. And 0 0.008 is 8 thousandths. As a fraction, that's 8 over 1,000. 10, 100 and 1,000 are base 10 denominators. To convert from decimals to fractions, we convert to base 10 and then we simplify. What's 0 0.6 as a fraction? Make the denominator equivalent to the smallest decimal column in this case, tenths. So 0 0.6 equals 6 over 10. To simplify, we can divide the top and the bottom both by 2. So 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So the fraction is 3 fifths. What's 0 0.85 as a fraction? Make the denominator equivalent to the smallest decimal column, in this case it's a hundredths. So 0 0.85 equals 85 over 100. To simplify, we're going to divide both the top and the bottom by 5 this time. 100 divided by 5 equals 20, and 85 divided by 5 equals 17. So the fraction is 17 over 20. Sometimes you may end up with a mixed fraction. What's 8.9 as a fraction? Separate the whole number and convert the decimal. So we have 8 and 0 0.9. 0 0.9 converted is the same as 9 over 10. We can't simplify this anymore, so we can add the two numbers back together 8.9 as a fraction is the same as 8 and 9 tenths. What's 2.36 as a fraction? We'll separate the whole number and convert the decimal. So we have 2, and this time we have 0 0.36, so it's going to be out of 100. 36 out of 100. We can simplify by dividing both the top and the bottom by 4. So 100 divided by 4 is 25, and 36 divided by 4 is 9. Now we can put the two numbers back together. So 2.36 is the same as 2 and 9 over 25. Remember, to convert from decimals to fractions, we convert to base 10 and then simplify. Make the denominator equivalent to the smallest decimal column, such as tenths. If you have a number over 1, separate the whole number and convert the decimal and then add them back together. 